Good afternoon, Lord Saints Middle School. My name is Abraham, and I hope you enjoy this video. So I would like to introduce Melody Sattler from Life or Drugs. Uh, some of you may know our story, but it started, Life or Drugs started with my daughter who started making dumb decisions. Uh, she played basketball in this school. Uh, she was the co-captain of the basketball team at the high school. She played softball, volleyball. She was a good kid, beautiful. But she got mixed up into drugs. And I didn't find out until she was arrested for driving under the influence of heroin, how bad it really was. So um, Lauren is the reason that the group actually started because me and Jen wanted something that we could do for people like us who were going through what we were going through. And in the process, we've helped a lot of other people who have been struggling with dumb decisions. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is you can listen today and learn from our mistakes, our decisions, or you can learn the hard way, which is the way most of us choose to learn. And this next story is going to be from Gwen, and she's going to share her personal story about her own addiction and how she came out on the other side. But I want you to know that there's not always a happy ending. Our group started in 2013, and we've lost six members from our group in this small town. And when I say lost, I mean they died. Okay? So it's real stuff. And I want you guys just to listen and be respectful. So here's Gwen. Good afternoon, guys. Some of y'all might remember me from last year. Uh, I came and shared my story. Um, I'm glad that uh, they let sixth grade come in. I think that's important. Um, like Mel said, my name's Gwen. I was a heroin addict for almost 12 years. I, uh, I now have five years and four months clean. Um, my story starts on April the 4th, 2002. I was pregnant with twins, twin girls. Uh, they were born too early and they passed away. Four days after they passed away, I did heroin for the first time. And that it just snowballed from there because I thought that it took the pain away. I thought it took that void away. My drug use took me to places you wouldn't even imagine. Two years later, I had an amazing little boy. Some of you guys might still know him, Brent. He's in high school now. A few years after he was born, I had to grant my parents temporary custody of him because I could no longer care for him because of my drug use. Mine and his dad's drug use. Sorry guys, I'm a little emotional today. You have to forgive me. Um, that spiraled out of control after my parents had my son. I felt worthless. I felt like the worst mother in the world. I felt hopeless. I, it was terrible. It was all over. I was just in a really, really dark hole then. So my drug use progressed rapidly. Um, Hello, I'm Elijah from WSMS. Today we're going to be talking about National Drug Take Back Day. It will be on April 27th and from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Drug Take Back Day aims to provide a safe and um, responsible way of disposing old, new, or just any prescription drugs that you don't use anymore. And I hope you enjoyed this broadcast.